There's a couple ways you can add a saved search and send auto notifications to your clients. The first way, start in contacts and click on view manage contacts. If your client hasn't been added yet, then click on the add new button and fill in as much information as you can. Otherwise, click on the name you're building a saved search for. Your saved searches, if any, will show up here in the search activity. Your client currently doesn't have a saved search, so let's create one for him. Click on the search activity and add search. You can load an existing saved search if you already created one. Otherwise, click on add new saved search and select a class. And enter in the search criteria your client is interested in. My client, Silly Willy, wants to look at only active listings. He wants a stick belt and he wants to live in Montrose County. His price range is between $200,000 and $300,000 and he wants a minimum of 2,000 square feet. He wants no less than three bedrooms and two baths and he wants to be on at least an acre of land. There's 11 properties to email to my client. Click on the search button. Make sure you email the search results first because the auto notifications only email your clients when there's a new listing within the search criteria parameters or a price change on an existing listing. So again, the results you pull from the criteria the first time needs to be manually emailed. You can do that right here. Click what report you want to email them and click on email. You can either choose from your address book or manually enter it in. You can choose to change the subject and add a message. As soon as you're finished, click send and it will confirm that your email has been sent. Close. Now all 11 listings have been emailed to Silly Willy. Now you're going to save your search. Name your search, residential safe search for Silly Willy and save. Here's where you're going to choose your notification options. It defaults to off. Change this to the email notification option to turn on auto notification emails. This way, if there's a new listing that falls within the search criteria or if there's a price change to any of the existing listings in the search, it will send an automatic email notification to your client. Once you choose the email notification option, this will pop up allowing you to design the look and message of the auto notify email. It will automatically pull your client's email address from the contact page. You can also notify the spouse or secondary email if there is one. If you want to be blind carbon copied on all the emails, you can just click blind carbon copy me. You can change the subject line and the result view and choose what report you want sent. Here's where you can customize when you want an auto notify email sent. It defaults to when there's a price change or a new match. Click on the magnifying glass to see all of your options. As soon as you're finished, you can now click OK and you are all set. If you're using a Client Connect site and you want to send them an automatic notification about new listings and price changes, you would choose this one. Click here to check out our video on how to set up a Client Connect site. At any time, you can turn off notifications. Delete saved searches or even edit them if your client's needs change. If Silly Willie's family is growing and he recognizes a three bedroom house would no longer work, then click on edit search and edit the criteria he wants changed. He now wants a minimum of a four bedroom house and his new price range is a maximum of 350. You can click search and once again, all the updated results need to be manually emailed. The second way to create a saved search is to create the search first. Enter in the search criteria of your client's needs and click search. After you email them the list, you're then going to go to save, save search as, click on contact, name your search, residential saved search for Silly Willy and assign to a contact. Silly Willy. Save and notify, save, or cancel. I'm going to click save and notify. And then you would follow the steps as mentioned earlier. I hope this helps.